close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Don't go wandering off anyplace else. Each breath coming in, you've got to stick right here. It's the quality of continuity that makes a difference when you're practicing meditation. If you're with a breath for a little bit, then go wandering off, sniffing the flowers, looking at the birds, and then coming back a little bit more, and then wandering off again. It's not much just different than the normal way the mind is wandering all day long. You have to get it here and keep it here. This quality of persistence is really important in the meditation. Because it's when you're persistent and paying attention to the breath, then you begin to see there are different ways of breathing and they have different effect on the body. You see things you didn't see before. And the good qualities of your mind have a chance to develop. Otherwise, it's like feeding an animal for a bit and then forgetting it, and then go find out how it died. And you get another animal and you feed it for a bit, and then you forget, and then it dies. You don't get the, the happiness you might have expected out of that little animal. You've got to keep your goodness going all the time, even when it's difficult. In fact, especially when it's difficult. We live in a world with a lot of difficulties, and if our goodness depends on things outside being good, then our goodness is going to be in bad shape. And if we make it depend on things being easy, it's going to be in bad shape, because it's, there are only a few times when things are easy. There are only a few times when things are, are comfortable. A lot of times when they're not. But you want to make sure that your goodness is steady throughout all of that, all the hardships of life. We have aging, illness, and death all around us. And these facts also focus back on the present moment, because we don't know how much time we have to develop goodness, but we do know we have it right now. So you want to make advantage of, take advantage of right now, because this is the only time you've got to practice. So when things are easy, you stick with it. When things are hard, you stick with it because you want the kind of results that stick with you over time. If your goodness comes in fits and starts, then the goodness, the causes of fits and starts, then the results are going to be in fits and starts, and there's going to be ups and downs that you don't like. So if you want a continuous sense of well-being, you have to make the causes continuous as well. The world may go up and down, but your mind is on a steady keel. That's the kind of mind you want to develop. So even when things are difficult, you stay right here with the practice. Some people say, well, I can't meditate because my mind is all over the place. It's because your mind is all over the place that you've got to meditate. At the very least, you learn to do, watch what a mind all over the place is like and begin to get a sense of how you've had enough of that and you want to find something better. So stick with it all the time. All the things that you know are good, stick with them all the time, because then they'll stick with you. And that goodness will stay with you in this lifetime and on in other future lifetimes as well.